Hi kids, it's Diana again. And even though Earth Day is over with, every day really is a time that we can talk about the Earth. And um, we're going to talk about snails today because snails live in our Earth. So here we go. Are you a snail? So we're going to find out if any of us are snails. And here it says it again. And then it says it again, are you a snail? And there's a spiral. Are you a snail? Well, if you are, your life began in an egg like one of these. And when you hatch, you look like this, really small. And this is your mother, she is big and you were much smaller than your mother you were very small but you'll grow grow and you have some antennas and on two of these stalks are the eyes the big long ones those are your eyes and if you were a snail you could pull your eye clear down into your head if you needed to and if you were a snail, you'd be very slimy, very slimy. And if you were a snail, you would have a shell with a beautiful pattern on it, a spiral, and then some designs. And if you were a snail, you would have no legs and only one foot. This thing down here is called a foot, but it's very strong. And the slime on that strong foot helps you slide along. And wherever you go, you, lead, you just leave a silvery, slimy trail. Sometime if you go out in the yard, you might see that. And if you were a snail, you'd like to be in places that are kind of wet and damp. And you like to be outside just after it's rained. And if you were a snail, your tongue would be really rough and it could rip off pieces of leaves and you would chew them up and eat them. Oh, but if you were a snail, there'd be some troubles. Some birds like to eat you. They like to eat snails and they're dangerous. And they, they just break out the shells, the shells off and eat the inside and they don't mind the slime. So snails, if you were a snail, you'd have to hide in the daytime and go out at night when those birds are asleep like that. But then there's another problem. If you were a snail, a fox might want to eat you and foxes come out at night and snails have to come out sometime. So they just have to be real careful at night. And if you were a snail, you'd have to be careful not to go where humans go because snails move slow. And humans move kind of fast and they don't even see, they don't look down and squash. And sometimes humans don't like snails because they eat their plants. So sometimes they even put out little poison things and that's not good. And if you were a snail, you might meet somebody that looks like this. This is not a snail. It's not a snail whose shell has fallen off. Mm -mm. It's a slug and slugs are different than, than snails. And if you were a snail, you would hibernate. You would go to sleep all winter. And when it gets cold, the slime inside your shell gets really hard. And then pretty soon it closes up on the bottom and you're going to sleep all winter long. But then when it becomes spring again and the flowers start to come out, the sun melts that hard part and you can come out and find food again. And the slime won't be hard anymore. But if you look a little bit like this, or this, or this, or this, or this, you're not a snail. 
you're a human child. And I think we already knew that. And you have no shell on your back at all. You might have a backpack, but no shell. And you have no horns, no tentacles. Your eyes are not on long stalks. And you can do a lot of things that snails can't do. You're not afraid of birds, and you probably won't even ever see a fox. And all most other humans like you, even though a lot of humans don't like snails. But best of all, you're a human, a human child, and you're not slimy. And one other thing I'd like to tell you, if you see a um, trail of shiny silver dots that's probably from a snail but a slug just has one long line also there's 60,000 kinds of snails and some are really really big so that's what we know about snails and that's the end and no we're not snails, and I am so glad.